Hey everyone, welcome back to, oh my god, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. So, today's a vlog, like, gotta love the vlogs, I'm, I'm post-grad, <laughs> and I'm living my life, I'm literally living my best life right now. I mean, I expected this, but I didn't realize that it would be such a weight lifted, because I don't think a lot of people understand, ever since I entered into school, at four years old or whatever it was, I've had this crippling... Not like anxiety, but it's a, it's like this weighted feeling of like, oh my god, I, I feel like I have something to do always. And I've always felt like I have, like, what do I have to do? I would, I would freak out if I didn't get my homework done, like during the day, or I would have to rush to get it done, and I would have to do it right when I got home, otherwise, like, I could not relax. But I just realized, like, my whole life I just never have been able to relax. <laughs> like, I've never relaxed for one day. So, anyway, um, I feel, I like feel relaxed. It's so weird. I've been doing so many things now that I'm graduated that where I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I can wake up whenever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be lazy, but, well, maybe I am. I feel like I am a little bit, but who cares, right? So, anyway, today we're doing a ton of things, okay? I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a hot minute. And I also haven't, I want to show you a bunch of stuff I got for my graduation, uh, for my parents, grandparents, stuff like that. I want to show you my Sephora IVAB sales stuff. And I think that's about it. Oh, and I also have a clothing haul, like a mini clothing haul. This is one of the items. So, anyway, this video is actually sponsored by New York and Company. New York and Company. Because I'm like the New York lover, so when they came to me and they're like, do you want to like pick out a couple things? Um, I was like, yeah, because I want to be associated with New York in every way possible. But I'm going to show you a couple of the things later that I got. But this is just the first thing and I have not taken it off. You can ask anybody. Um, so this is from the Gabrielle Union Collection. It is fire and I feel like not a lot of people know about it because I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. But like when I found it, I was like, Holy crap. I was like, whoa, this is actually fire. Because, um, by the way, I got to pick out all this stuff, so it's like, you know, I'm not gonna like not like anything I pick out, right? So, it says power right here. It says power down the sleeves, but it's this really nice, like, uh, kind of like a varsity jersey kind of material. It's not actually like a heavy sweatshirt. So, I think this is just, it's like cool. Like, it, it looks like kind of like streetwear uh, for girls, which is like a... Uh, I wish they would come out with more stuff like streetwear type stuff for girls, honestly. So anyway, let me just show you. I'm going to show you more stuff because I have like a couple other things I want to show you um, that I think are also really cool pieces from them. I'll show you that in a little bit and I will also have links down below. And this stuff is actually very affordable. So I hope that you check it out because it's very cool. And I'm pretty excited to be working with New York and Company because... And it's just like a vlog. It's like a good day. It's a vlog day. We're going to Dollar Tree and uh, we're wearing our favorite sweatshirt. Okay. So let me show you what I got. So one thing I got, I'm, I'm not going to show you, but I got the more Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I literally had zero left. So it came just at the right time. I also got a new detox um, dry shampoo, which I just used because my hair is absolutely filthy um i got this this is the buxom uh wanderlust primer infused blush i heard kathleen lights talk about this she said it's good so i am going to try that out i just want to try this stuff out like i'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on today but i also got this hourglass powder because jacqueline hill talks about it tell me if i'm wrong about this but i feel like jacqueline hill's never really steered me wrong on anything she recommends like literally anything it's like it's always good she's just really good at selling and also at recommending things like she just has genuinely good recommendations so so anyway and it's like super bougie this is like bougie-alicious okay so that's not a word i also got this and this is actually the thing i'm most excited for because i used to use this when i worked at Sephora, and uh, i used it yesterday and it's Exact. It, it is exactly what I remember. So this is the Ola Henriksen. Um, they changed the name on this. So now it's called the Uplifting Transformation Eye Cream. It used to be called like the. It used to be called something else, and it was in different packaging. But it's the same thing. It was like eye transformation or something. This is the best eye cream that exists on the market. I've tried so many. I've tried Junk Drunk Elephant. I don't think it 
compares whatsoever. I have these really crepey under eyes, which makes my makeup look really bad, like right in this area. Holy, this stuff is so good because it's like packed with peptides. So when I used to work at Sephora, we would always go through these trainings. And that's where I learned that peptides, like I kind of think of it, what is, what is it called when you um, associate a word with something else? Um, I feel like it's an acronym, but the P in peptides reminds me of plump. So peptides, you want them always in your eye cream because they plump up your skin and it kind of fills in wrinkles, but it literally actually fills in like you wake up the next morning after putting this on at night and you're like what the f it's that good i i mean i don't care that anybody else buys this because as long as i know about it it's pricey it's 42 dollars for only 0.5 uh fluid ounces but it's crazy you actually kind of almost can feel it working i'm not actually gonna put it on right now but um oh my god it's so good you're supposed to like tap i guess i don't do that i just freaking rub it in like who cares Oh my god, it feels so good. It's like cooling. I'm so excited about this. And it was like a last minute thing where I was like, wait, what was that eye cream I used to use? Anyway, I'm talking way too much. So I'm gonna put on my makeup a little bit. Um, and then I'll maybe I'll I'll let you guys know how I like how this goes or whatever at the end. And um yikes, I'm looking that so good. Makeup's on. So quick review of these. I don't know how to get this out of the I don't know how to get this. Like, what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to tap it into here? Or, like, how do I get the powder out? How do I get the powder? I don't know how to get the powder out. It's just, to me, it's a mess, and I don't know if it's, like, working that well, but um, I'll keep you updated. It's not like it's bad. I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> but this is really good. This blush. I got it in the shade uh, Mykonos, and I just freaking love it. It's, it's so far so good. I'll let you know how long it lasts. So... Let me just show you a couple of things I got from New York and Company, and then we were we we're gonna head out. We have to go to today Dollar Tree, like I said, and we also have to go to where do we have to go? Oh, I have to get more uh, vegan cheese. <laughs> okay, so here is the first thing that I got. So I picked out these like pearl jeans. And these are also from New York and Company, these shoes. They're like mules. I've never had a pair of mules. But they're so cute. They're like lime green. I like them because I they're like elongating. So if you're really short, like me, I feel like they kind of make me look a little skinnier. Yeah, I, got, I also got these jeans, which I think are really cute. They have the pearls on them. So I just think that's like really cool. I've always wanted like these pearl jeans. And they're really comfortable. They're stretchy. And I like this frayed hem at the bottom and they're nice because they're cropped so like if you're shorter like me they're like a really nice crop so yeah these are this is what i got i think they're really cute they're really comfortable they're mid-rise jean they're like kind of a fashion statement um and they're pretty affordable too so that'll be linked down below let me show you the next thing okay here is the next thing i got this is one of my favorite dresses i've ever literally ever tried on it's like a perfect length this is perfect if you are in like the working world but also just for summer because it's this really nice fabric, like so thin, so flattering because it ties right here and you can kind of adjust it any way you want it to. I love this print. I think it's like young, but it's not too, it's, not, it's like also pretty modest, but I love where it hits you. It hits you right above, at least for me. It hits me right above my knee, which is like the most flattering angle. It has pockets. And then it has these sleeves, which I like because my arms are not my favorite thing in the world. And I don't like to have like my arms out all the time, so I love it. And it's a perfect length, so lightweight. I feel like a star. I actually think I like it too with my hair up. I also got these sunglasses, I'm gonna put them on. But I, fun fact about me, I'm talking to myself in the mirror, but I think this is like such a cute outfit, I don't know. No sunglasses will ever get you more compliments than when you wear heart sunglasses. So you can actually get these. These are, I also got these from New York Company. But I think it's so cute for a summer day. Are you freaking kidding me? This is just like a timeless dress. I feel like young people can wear this, but I feel like also like, you know, more mature people can wear it. And I, you gotta love it. You, got, you gotta love it. G -g -g Gorgeous. Okay, finally, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing. Well, actually it's between this and the dress, but this is the, what the, um, sweater looks like so it's a little bit oversized i actually probably could have gotten a small but here is what the sleeves look like oh oh 
I forgot to tell you. This is glow in the dark. So, look, I know what I'm going to be wearing next time I go cosmic bowling. Or, actually, I can't wear this to laser tag because it would give me away. But, <laughs> why am I thinking about that? <laughs> but, anyway, this isn't this the freaking cutest? I, li I love stuff that goes down past your butt like this, like oversized. It just is like, it's comfort. It's comfort. It's comfort and it's style. Look at me getting, like, getting all up in the mirror. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, oh my god, dude. This is, this is like the coolest thing in the world. This is the coolest thing in the world. If you don't, if every one of these pe people watching this does not get this, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. How are more people not talking about this collection? The, the stuff on there is literally so fire. It's like, there's this one sweater that I wanted to get, and I probably will get, but it has, a, it's like a zipper right here. It's just... It's like cool stuff you do not see any like at all and it's so innovative and like just with this like with the glow in the dark like who told her to go that hard you know what i'm saying but uh she went there so anyway link down below get one of these cop one of these while you can and we can all be matching this is my new merch <laughs> literally though and i actually feel like i'm powerful wearing it i'm just gonna say that okay bye okay you know i'm rocking the fit boy so I'm just going to continue talking in the mirror because I love it. Okay, <laughs> we're off to Dollar Tree. I think I might have to put a coat on though because it's literally howling wind. I don't know if you can hear that. Before I go, who remembers <laughs> these little dogs? I This is literally my graduation present to myself. Not even joking. <laughs> because I don't know why it just makes me happy so I literally bought this off eBay literally makes me so happy to have this on my desk it doesn't even work but I used to have one of those back this is a 2005 uh, Hasbro eye dog and it used to like light up and be a speaker it was like literally one of the first tech things that ever blew my mind all right we out here boy at the Dollar Tree I got a front row seat I haven't been here in a month and I'm hoping they've got some fresh hot new digs oh you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some mother Day, Mother's Day stuff what the f uh, and it's my grandma's birthday, so I gotta get her something. <laughs> Not a gift, but a card. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Oh, no way. There's like a million kids in here. Great. <laughs> wow, I'm extremely pissed. That was like the busiest Dollar Tree in the world with so many screaming kids. One little brat kid was pushing my cart into me. Like, and his mom wasn't doing anything about it. And I have just no tolerance for that. Because <laughs> I have a short fuse. So I'm like, I literally gave him the nastiest look I could conjure up. I wasn't about to say anything. Because, like, I'm not trying to start a fight at Dollar Tree. Because I want to be allowed back there. It's my favorite place in the world. I mean, seriously, letting your kid jam somebody else's cart into them repeatedly like he did it literally three times and I literally every time I, I then I did, I did one of these this is like this is like my go-to my passive-aggressive go-to I go <clears throat> excuse me like that and it's like I mean excuse people should get the hint the kid didn't get the hint the mom didn't get the hint I look at the mom I go like this really I gave her the really eyes really so anyway we're on our way to get some vegan cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> my hair! Oh my god. Am I okay? Okay, so, um, quick little grocery haul. I am not a healthy eater, so let's just get that right out of the way. Um, tonight, what's on the menu, you ask? <laughs> I'm making green pea pesto linguine. It's from Hot for Food Cookbook. It is the best thing. I always make it when I'm trying to impress somebody or I have to do like, or if I want to like do a home cooked meal that I give to somebody or if I just want to make it because it's good. But, and I'm not even a basil lover uh, at all, but it's really good. So I'll show you that tonight. But I got this for Jarvis because he has a problem with hummus and chips. So that's for him. Literally, He'll eat this whole thing today. It's like he has a problem. And by the way, he had me going all over the store saying, oh, no, no, there's a family size. He wanted one bigger than this. This is huge. 
He's like, no, there's a, there's a family size. There's a family size. Go look through the aisles. He always does this where I text him. I'm at the grocery store. I text him right as I'm walking in and then I start over at one section and then he finally texts me back. Oh, I want something. Now, then he texts me back what he wants. So I have to walk all the way across the store again. I'm not doing it anymore. Okay. This is the best vegan cheese at the moment. Um, Daya cheddar shreds are so good. And Daya is like really bad cheese for the most part, but that is good. It's the gourmet shreds in this packaging. Wait, is it? Yeah, the cutting board selection. Get that. It's so good. Um, I got these, which are... Um, I, I actually don't... Obviously, I don't eat the cheese that comes with it, but I like to make the gordita crunches because I'm a fast, okay? So, and I'm always trying to recreate fast food because I love fast food. I love it. So, um... I've made that recipe before, but I can make it again if you want me, if you want to see that another day. But um, these are so good, but these are hippies and they're kind of taste like um, vegan, like Cheeto puffs, but they're vegan. Um, the problem is, I, I say this to everybody, I don't know if my palate is off because I haven't eaten cheese in three years now so i don't know what tastes like cheese and what doesn't so take everything i say with a grain of salt or don't even believe it at all who knows um wait a minute no way no way oh my god i just opened it because it was like this Somebody stole two pods out of here because it's supposed to be 10. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute, let me see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to literally call the police. <laughs> okay, we're good. I literally almost had a heart attack though, that thinking that somebody went in and stole. I could see somebody doing that. I could totally see somebody doing that. Ooh, these are really good. Um, these, okay, I'm such, oh, I need to stop eating junk food, but this is like vegan hot Cheetos, probably the closest thing that I found so far. They're called Pedos, which is kind of not the best name, I would say, for a snack. Sounds like pedo, pedo, uh, pedophile, but, Anyway, these are really good. They're fiery hot. They kind of taste like barbecue sauce a little bit, but they're pretty good. If you miss hot Cheetos, which I miss hot Cheetos, bad. Okay. Um, let's show you a couple more things. So I got this also. This is my favorite Boca crumbles. I think you can get them at Walmart too. I get them at my local grocery store and I make tacos with that. And then I got this because this is my favorite thing. The blonde roast iced coffee. I don't like home brewed iced coffee. It's like, not the best so i get this it's so good i have it every morning um uh, but yeah that's all i got oh I, I got dollar tree stuff let me show you that i got other stuff too but i'm just not gonna show you because it's boring but um I, every time i go to dollar tree i pick up another one of these because you never know when you're gonna use it okay i use it for poshmark orders and stuff i got two mother's day cards this is for my grandma and my aunt i just thought it was funny so, Jarvis, I got these post-it notes because he wants those. I got toothpaste. Always get that as a Dollar Tree. I got this. I was like, ooh, can pump fizz keeper. You put it on your can and then it saves it. Anyway, this is the last thing I got. It's just these little things and Jarvis uses them for like salad and stuff. So, my camera's about to die, so I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what did you think of that episode, Sweet Pea? <laughs> we just watched Game of Thrones two se Wait, what did we watch? Two episodes? We're on season one, episode six. <laughs> Boo is watching. He loves all the cat parts. There was a cat part in um, the last episode we watched, and he was like really into it. I'm back in the same exact place that I was when I left. Oh wait, no I'm not, I, wa I just watched Game of Thrones, okay. So, um, I'm gonna show you how to make the, well, somebody else's recipe, so I feel like I'm not really showing you how to do something, but. I'm using my trusty blender, which I put over in the shot. <laughs> okay, so, 
What do we need? Two cups fresh or frozen peas. Dude, I love the smell of peas. It smells so good. You basically kind of need like two, I would say like two cans of peas, so. Oh shit. I, put, I always put a little bit more. So one teaspoon of sea salt. I actually don't have sea salt. I need to get that. I used to have it, I don't know where it went, but I just use table salt. <laughs> Ugh. Probably not the best, but you know, I don't think it'll make that big of a difference. Okay, two cups of fresh packed basil. I actually only do one cup because I don't like basil that much. So I've already explained that, but I just get like this, like at the grocery store or whatever. I really should grow it myself um, because basil's a little expensive. So I kind of just like. I literally just like loosely pack it in this cup. So then I put it in. Again, I'm not a huge basil person. So then we need two garlic cloves. So for that I usually just do like eyeball. I just use this minced garlic because I don't want to keep around garlic cloves all the time. So I'll pretty much just do like, I do two teaspoons of it pretty much. And that's it. We need a half a cup of Parmesan. But what I do is I just take this from Follow Your Heart. Um, they sell it at Whole Foods, a couple other places, but it's literally the best parm ever. And you don't, the one in the cookbook, you would have to make your own. So I don't want to do that. I usually do a little bit more than what the recipe calls for because I like the cheese part of it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so have that. We need a fourth of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Again, I cut a corner here. I just buy this huge tub <laughs> because that's easier to me. Okay, people. I'm not, I'm not. I don't care about fresh lemon juice. <laughs> I just don't care. So we need a fourth of a cup, and I'm just gonna use this thingy because it's easy. Like, see how easy this is. And another squirt. Okay. I used to, like when I first did this recipe, I used to like squeeze the lemons. I went through like five lemons. I'm like, enough of this. Um, we need a fourth a cup of olive oil. This is the Aldi, wait, is that right? Yeah, okay, fourth a cup of olive oil. I just like the Aldi one, to be honest with you. It's cheap, it's like three bucks. A little more, okay. You gotta love it. Okay, that's done. And then we just need a little bit of ground black pepper, which again, I just have like the table one. Um, okay. And then we blend. If I could get that on, that would be oh, splendid. Okay. Sauce is ready. Literally tastes so good. I added a little bit more of the Parmesan, like kind of a lot more but that's what tastes good to me, okay? That's what tastes good to me. So I'm just waiting for the pasta and then I'll show you the final results. All right, are you getting it? Okay, watch this. Then you're supposed to twist it. Look at the flick of the wrist. But I'm putting way more on mine. Wait, are you making Wait, that's plate? my plate, right? No. And here we go. Right. What are you doing? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right, people, this is what it looks like. Literally the best. You can also put peas on it, but I'm just gonna leave it. Like that, it's the best thing you'll ever eat, seriously, and I don't even like basil. Okay, time to watch Game of Thrones. I'm having the perfect night. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, so, <laughs> we just watched. He's already asleep. He fell asleep during the last episode, and I'm like, he conveniently fell asleep before he did the dishes, which is just great. Yeah, we literally watched four episodes today. Like, we watched two, I made dinner, we watched two more, we're addicted. So I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully I didn't bore you today with this vlog. Make sure to check out the links below to shop any of this stuff. This sweatshirt especially um, from New York and Company. And I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much.
but I'll see you in my next video. I'm going to be vlogging a lot more because I'm hashtag post-grad life. <laughs> so see you later.